1985. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so this is coming in the front door. It has this huge room here, and it's a real fireplace. has a flue going up, and looks like it may have hardly ever been used, if at all. Um, but it's a huge room. There's a closet here by the front door. Um, coat closet. Nice size closet, a lot of storage. Another huge room over there. And then this, which we assume would have been the dining room. Probably the, what do you think that is over there, Lise? Maybe, uh living room living room and then this family may have been a family room we're not really sure how it was laid out or, or what they called vice them versa, living room it's just a lot room. of huge rooms for sure so anyway let's walk on back to the bedroom there at least and this is a master bedroom double doors that don't work <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay. okay. So, well, uh, anyway, there's that. Uh, antenna wires coming in through the wall. Has all the original windows in it. They're all still, for what they are, they're in decent shape. That one's broke, looks like. So, a lot of flowers on the walls. Um, Closet here. We need a little TLC as well. Nice size or closet. A or a lot, yep. Another closet. Walk in. No bulb. But some shelves in there. And the carpet. Is all original, I believe. 1985 original. Yep, gold. So they did do some repair in this room on the floor. However, they put a new toilet in. But the floors give way over here, so I think they just did a quick job just to make it look better for a sale. Um, double sink. sink on the left doesn't work don't know why uh, then you have this divider here with this big old garden cup tub more flowers on the wall and a nasty wore out shower like typical so. mobile home yeah it's damage up there doesn't look like the finish probably just come off from steam or whatever. But anyway. Popcorn ceiling. Woohoo! Yeah. That'll be a day or two of scraping. Not the popcorn that you enjoy. No, it's not. So, we'll come on through back through here. Switch is way over here. So, anyway, back through the dining room. Might be an upgrade there on the fan, but in 1990. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, a lot of dark paneling. Built-in shelf. And this wraparound bar, which is kind of cool. And the kitchen. You need to sh Smaller kitchen. Show this handy dandy oh, handle. Yeah. yeah. Martini <laughs> plug. See? For the door handle. How well that works. It works well. 
This one doesn't work as well because it doesn't have one of those. Yeah. A lot of storage though. Okay. That's your apron hanger. Apron hanger. Mm -hmm. Smaller kitchen, but several cabinets in there. There wood too. It's not the. This is the not wood either. It isn't. These are though. The doors are wood. The rest of it just has a laminate over it, I guess. So, anyway, dishwasher, countertop's got a hole in it. This is a back door with a laundry room and I guess a desk there. So, wash and dryer. Somebody's already put a normal residential door in. Um, the water heater used to be in here. Of course, they've taken it out. It's just they kind of halfway built some shelves in there that need to be redone. Mouse has been in here. Filters for the furnace. So that's the old water heater closet. And over here is the old furnace area. Kind of halfway built shelves again. A lot of mouse droppings. A lot of cleanup to do. There's still the old uh, ductwork down there that never was sealed over. They sealed it off but didn't plug the hole up here, so. That's the wooden door. So the reason why the water heater and furnace aren't up here is because this home actually sits on a concrete foundation with about a six and a half foot uh, basement under one end of it and they have moved the furnace and water heater down there and a water softener and then the, the pressure tank for the well and everything is down there as well so this is out in the county where it has its own well this is what room is this lease like just the second, just one of the second bedrooms, isn't it? Well, this closet goes way back in here behind the door. So it's a good sized closet here. Those doors work. Paneling and all is in good shape if you like the paneling. Which I don't mind it. It's just a lot of it and it's dark. You want to leave it? Okay. It would save a lot of work. Hallway closet. Linen closet, I guess. Is this what this would be, Lise? That's what I would call it. Okay. That door's off track, so... But it works. There's just some gum. There's yeah. some in it. Yeah. Why don't you... No thanks. Uh, let's check this other bedroom out. This is bedroom number three. Uh, the door's been taken off of this closet. And whatever they've done there, I'm not sure they've cut a section out of that shelf. Oh, there you can see it like that. And they even cut into the wall there, but I don't know. They've had something sitting there. Pretty much the same, all back in the 80s, so. Got a 
hole up there. I've seen there's a few places in this house that has holes like that. That goes all the way through. I can see daylight in through there. Yeah, it comes through into here. And there it is. And then there's another hole that goes right there. I don't know. And it's in there. I don't know what they're up to with that. So, then we're back here to the hall. Did you show this bathroom? Oh yeah, there's a bathroom back here. Um, more floral. They'd have, let me get back here, they've put a vanity in. More modern. It's a nice little vanity though. Only thing is they've, I don't know if you can see that or not, but when they put the plumbing in, they just hacked a big old hole uh, in there. So yeah, I've got a slide in my pocket. Another personal belongings looks like that are used, which is nasty. Yeah. So anyway, That'll have to be, oh, and that's all full of spray foam down there, so. Anyway, we'll probably do something with that, make it better. Still got the same toilet in here, probably that it came out with. However, the shower has been replaced. I'm pretty sure it has a fiberglass panel up. It's just a fully enclosed. Fiberglass. I would think it probably would have been a tub combo at one time, maybe. That's about the size of it, isn't it? A tub. I would think. <clears throat> so, yeah, needs a lot of cleaning. Or tearing yep. out. Or tearing out, one or the other. But anyway. Overall, it needs a lot of work, but. Honestly, it isn't terribly bad as far as the paneling and the sheetrock goes. A lot of work to be done, but opportunity to make it however we want it, I guess. So we've taken you on a tour of this 1985 double wide mobile home. Um, hopefully in the future we're, we'll have a lot of more videos on this as we go through and uh, remodel and uh, bring it up to date and uh, repair and, and uh, just make it into a nice home uh, hopefully over the next year or so here so hopefully you'll come back and join us for that and if you are interested in this and uh, would like to follow along then uh, just give us a subscribe there and and follow along and and uh, like if you would and we'd be glad to have you back again and we appreciate you coming along this time comments or suggestions are appreciated also absolutely we need all the help we can get so joining us today good afternoon <laughs> go right at it tear right into it <laughs> would you say if someone was standing there and you were telling them? Well, that's not the way I work. <laughs>